The vegan travel team recently visited Vancouver and met up with three locals. Follow along as we show you some of their favorite vegan restaurants and fun things to do and see while you're in town. After arriving and checking into our Airbnb, we went to 3G Vegetarian for some delicious wonton soup, dim sum, and other tasty appetizers. We walked around Gastown to see some of the historical sites before dinner. Meat in Gastown is a very popular restaurant on a Saturday night, so this was a great way to spend time while waiting for an available table. Some of the dishes we enjoyed were their team poutine, sweet chili cauliflower, hot chicken things, and their meat burger. After a terrific dinner, we took a stroll along lively Smythe Street. On our second day, we met up with Vancouver blogger Jen of Zen on a Plane. I'm Jen, uh, coming to you from Vancouver, British Columbia. One of my new favorite places is Virtuous Pie, pizza and most amazing brunch probably I've ever had. After brunch, we walked around Vancouver's Chinatown and stopped in at the Vegan Supply grocery store to pick up some supplies and snacks. We also explored Vancouver's beautiful public library. After all that walking, we were ready for a light dinner at Pan's Veggie. We enjoyed their wonton soup along with their Kung Pao soy chicken with peanuts. The following day, we took the bus from downtown to North Vancouver to meet up with local author Suzanne Miles. Hi, my name is Suzanne Miles. I'm the author of Fork at Keys to Amazing Health. The nut tree I like because it's a nice bright space. It's in North Vancouver. I like all their food here, to be honest. It's all made fresh. I just had their vegan pizza, and honestly, that's good. After a great lunch, Suzanne introduced us to the scenic waterfront town of Deep Cove. It's a wonderful spot to picnic, hike, rent a canoe, or sit on the beach and enjoy the gorgeous views. So many locals recommended the donuts at Cardam's Donuttery that we just had to stop by and try their vegan varieties. We had such an amazing brunch at Virtuous Pie, we decided to come back again to try their dinner menu, and we weren't disappointed. The next day, we met up with local Harvey at Indigo Age Cafe. Hi, I'm Harvey, and I'm a native of Vancouver. Specializing in raw, organic cuisine with a Ukrainian flair, this was a spectacular spot to enjoy a tasty meal and get to know this compassionate and health-conscious Vancouverite, who has been vegan for over 30 years. Harvey gave us a tour of Stanley Park, and we were impressed to see just how skilled at gymnastics this long-term vegan was. I love gymnastics. I find it really keeps me fit and strong, and it's something I really have a passion for. With hundreds of hectares of trees and wildlife, kilometers of trails, and beautiful beaches, Stanley Park is a great way to spend the day. We then headed over to the Acorn, one of the places that Harvey and Jen both recommended to us. They always use really fresh local food. They grow some of it in their own garden, so you know it's like really locally and ethically sourced. Of course, the decor, they've made it really a nice place to sit and eat and have a conversation, and then the food is just out of this world. The following day, we made our way up to Capilano Suspension Bridge with Jen. A short drive or bus from downtown Vancouver the bridge is a popular attraction with beautiful gardens and nature trails. Be sure to get here early before the crowds arrive. Just a few minutes further north from here is the scenic Cleveland Park. It's a beautiful place to take photos, picnic, or just enjoy the view of Capilano Lake and the surrounding mountains. Our next destination was Grouse Mountain, where we took the sky ride above the towering Douglas firs for a breathtaking view. If you're looking for a sweet snack up here, the beaver tails come in a few vegan flavors. We also took the chairlift up to the wind turbine, which was a spectacular sight to see. After exploring all day, we enjoyed a lovely dinner with Jen at Meat on Main. We tried their sweet chili cauliflower, artichoke and spinach dip, hot chicken things, team poutine and BC poutine, their macro tofu bowl, and their chili mac and cheese. Their raspberry filled chocolate coconut ganache tart is a must try. On our way to the airport for our flight home, we had just enough time to grab lunch at the Arbor. We started with two delightful appetizers, their artichoke nuggets and fried oyster mushrooms, followed by their Baja tacos and southern fried artichoke sandwich. The chef even whipped up a complimentary dessert for us. We had a really special time in Vancouver and are super thankful for locals Jen, Suzanne, and Harvey for showing us around. They even shared their vegan stories with us. 
I've been vegan for about 15 years, um, but before that I was vegetarian for five or so years. I made the connection, you know, I wouldn't eat my dog, why would I eat someone's cow? And that's kind of where it all started. I grew older and started learning more about uh, everything. I slowly cut out more and more and eventually went vegan. So I started the vegan lifestyle when I was 54 years old. We were just seemingly walking into more and more health challenges. One day we just kind of woke up and thought this wasn't really what we thought was uh, aging should be. And I decided to see if I could find another solution that was maybe more a natural solution to my problems that I was having. I happened to see a great documentary that I highly recommend, The Last Heart Attack by Dr. Sanjay Gupta. And that was the night that we actually opened all of our cupboards in our fridge and we cleaned out completely within months. The weight came off, we started to get more energy, we started to get more excited, and we were learning a lot about the truth of the, um, the system that we've been eating from primarily, and now we're interested in traveling and sharing the vegan message. I have been vegan since 1983, and I was vegetarian 10 years before that, before I finally let go of all the cheese dairy products. I met someone who was a very spiritual person. He'd come back from India and he talked to me about ahimsa, which is non-violence or harmlessness to all sentient beings. I'd never met anyone so spiritual and loving and generous before, so that had a big impression on me. And then I saw some videos or some movies about the slaughterhouses and that affected me very deeply and emotionally and my heart was open. We hope this was a helpful guide to Vancouver. Follow more of our travels and share your own vegan travel adventures over at vegantravel.com. Bye.